Soto is the industrial heart of the city, but Soto is the engine that keeps the city moving. What happens when that engine begins to sputter? Since COVID, crime has been rampant in this part of town. Driving insurance rates up. If you're looking at Seattle right now as an insurer, we are a high risk. Aaron Goodman, executive director of the Soto Business Improvement Area, tells me this frustration has escalated beyond rising costs. I'm hearing from businesses that they're not even able to buy a policy. That's a major red flag that we have a problem. Where we see the most is related to businesses that have vehicles, that have trucks. Delivery drivers, auto retailer, fleets of all shapes and sizes line these roads. The movement of goods from the port to really the rest of the country is a primary reason that businesses locate in Soto, which means we have a lot of trucks. And the vandalism, theft from trucks is astronomical in Soto. Aaron tells me vandals have no problem puncturing exterior gas tanks like the one you see here on this tractor trailer. Because this is so prevalent and so common, the wait to get your truck fixed at some of the truck repair places is long. The stolen gas itself is not worth much, but the ripple effects are costly. So the economic impact from that $100 of gas could be in the tens of thousands. And then there's catalytic converter thefts. While the state legislature passed a law cracking down on the illegal sale, still the criminals strike. Aaron says they just carry the precious metals across state lines. What I'm hearing from my businesses, they're not reporting these because they don't want their insurance to go up. They're not reporting up to $30,000. That's huge. They're not a big national chain. They're not a mega business. They are a small business. So what's the fix here? Aaron says their nonprofit is small and lacks the resources to conduct a study. So right now, all they've got are anecdotes. They need the city to survey businesses to quantify the actual scale of the issue. I think we will see that, but it takes time, and I'm not sure that all of our businesses have that time. Erin says it's not just a soda problem. She's hearing similar complaints coming out of the CID and out of the University District. Is it a regional issue, though? I've reached out to economic authorities in both Tacoma and in Everett to find that out. If you're watching this right now and you're a small business in either of those cities experiencing this, please contact us immediately. We want to know the scale of this issue. Reporting in Soto, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.